Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, it's been a while since I had a chance to really sit down and talk like this. But it's late, so I really still don't have much time to talk like this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Probably won't be too long of a video. I wanted to just say that, um, time heals all. Of course, I'm quite sure you've heard that before. I'm sure everyone has probably heard that at some point. But time does heal all. Time heals a lot of things. Now, I'm not going to say that it heals everything perfectly. Um, I'm not going to say that things will be perfect after time goes by with whoever you're angry at, whoever did you wrong, or any of that. I'm not saying that karma won't still happen. I'm not saying that you have to forget what the person does or did to you. You don't have to forget. They always say forgive. You can forgive, but don't forget. You know? It's easy to forgive after time has gone by, but it's still not easy to forget the damage because that damage can be um, long lasting, it can be forever lasting. It may never go away, whatever happened to you. But just know that time does time heals a lot of things time heals a lot of wounds time helps if you just let time pass and you keep doing what you're supposed to do and you keep evol evolving and bettering yourself things will eventually get better don't worry about the other person don't worry about if you haven't forget forgiven them yet don't worry about all the anger that you harbor it might actually fix itself even if it's just temporary. Even if you just have those temporary feelings that, you know, the past doesn't matter anymore or you can get along with said person again, maybe that's the case, you know? But time, like I said, time just heals a lot. Sometimes you have to let time do its thing. Sometimes you have to let time pass. Sometimes you have to let said person just float out into the wind and just be themselves. Sometimes you just have to let them be lonely and learn a lesson. Sometimes you just have to be yourself. You just have to find out yourself and get over what happened to you. Sometimes you just have to get over it and you need some time for that. Everybody needs time to get over certain things that happen to them, the detrimental things. Everybody needs that. You know, it's just human nature. We need time to heal. We need time to cleanse and repair our hearts. So, um, like I said, time heals all. Like I said, not completely perfect, but it does heal a great deal of things you might have been holding on to or harboring for the last how long. It might have taken you a long time to process it. If you don't know what the five stages, I think it's called five stages of guilt, or five steps, five, I forgot what it was called. Five something of guilt. It's called five stages of guilt. Five stages of mourning. It's kind of like the same thing. There are like certain words. I think there's like five of them. There are like five steps of things that you have to go through once you experience something traumatic. And it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like PTSD, or it's basically PTSD. But there's like steps that they have that most people go through when they experience something. They're not always in that order. Like, okay, first is anger, then there's one, I don't even remember the, remember the rest of them, you don't have to Google them, or I might put them in this video. The five steps of guilt, the five steps of, you know, it's, like I said, it's very similar to PTSD as well, it's basically is PTSD. Um, and those steps, sometimes you have to go through those steps, actually, no, not sometimes, everybody goes through those steps. Not in the exact order that they put it. It's not going to always be in the exact same order. Like, you might not get angry till later. And, you know, one step might come before this one. You might think this, you know, you might come back around to another step again. Like, you might go through one step and you might, might be a point in your life where you come back around to that step and you go and you experience it again. But once you get to the acceptance stage, that's truly the hardest part, in my opinion, the acceptance, because once you accept it, then that means that you've told yourself, you know what, it's time to move on. 
You've accepted what happened to you. You've owned it. You've hashed through it. You've done everything you can. And now it's just time to let it go. It's time to slowly start just letting it go. And everybody goes through that. Those stages are actually true. I've been through all those stages. Um, it's really true though. It's, for the most part, that stuff actually exists. Those are things that we really do go through when we experience traumatic events. Like I said, it's pretty much PTSD. It's pretty much what people with PTSD go through. So, yeah. And again, along with that, time helps even within those stages, time helps to heal you. You know, it was just always does. Even when somebody close to you passes away, time always helps. Even with that, because you know it's going to take you a while to get over that. Especially with someone really close to you, it might take you five years, it might take you ten years, but eventually you're going to kind of accept it and just kind of move on. You know? Unfortunately, life doesn't wait for anyone. Life does not stop. Life goes on. So it's like, okay, whatever happened to you, you either accept it or you just keep wallowing in pain forever. I mean, you have a choice. Eventually, your mind, your subconscious is going to get tired of carrying all that baggage and it's going to want to let it go. So, I just wanted to talk about that a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of if there's anything else I missed along with that point. I don't recall. Just give yourself some time. If you've gone through something traumatic or you're currently going through something traumatic, give yourself time. Nothing heals automatically. Nothing. Nothing heals that quickly. Nothing that traumatic. Nothing as traumatic as uh, any type of abuse. Doesn't matter if it's sexual, physical, um, emotional. Any super, any wide range of abuse. It takes time to heal even if you've come out of a domestic abuse relationship. It takes time. Give yourself that time, you know? You have to do that. You cannot heal if you don't let time do what it's naturally supposed to do. Just like when you get an actual wound, you get an actual wound in your skin, guess what? It takes time for that wound to heal. It's not going to just be over it in a few days or even just that same day. You got to give it some time. The bigger the wound is, the more time you got to give it. The more scars you have, the more time you have to give it to heal. So give yourself time, don't rush anything, learn yourself, and do your best to, like I said, give things time, forgive, but never forget. Always remember that. Yeah, that will always carry you through life. You can easily forgive, but do not forget, and you don't have to trust that person again. You really don't have to, because... Once your heart is broken, to a certain extent, it's done. Like, you can heal, but it'll never be totally the way it was supposed to be. I love that meme where, um, someone gave an analogy about, I think it was a broken, no wait, no, it was a glass plate. And they were saying, okay, take this glass plate, throw it in the ground. Okay, what happened to it? It shattered. Now try to put it back together. You try to put the pieces of that plate back together and it's like, did it go back to how it was? No. It never does. Your heart never goes back to how it originally was before you experienced said trauma. It just doesn't. It will never be fully repaired the way it used to be. But you can still live. You can still live and you can still be happy. If you just work on yourself, stay away from toxic people and let time do its thing. Okay? That's like... It sounds simple, I know it's not, but hey, I'm trying to encourage you guys to work on yourself and, you know, pay attention to the five stages that I mentioned. They are actually true. Pay attention to that. Study yourself. Know what stage you're at right now. Evaluate it. Write notes. Write journal posts. Do what you have to do to let it all out, you know? And, um, That's all I had to say, I believe. Uh, 
Yeah, I love seeing that meme because it's always true every time I see it. I'm just reminded like, you know what? Yeah, that's right. Once you break your heart to that magnitude, it's not gonna go back the way it was. This is not. It doesn't matter who breaks it, it's gonna be a family member, a friend, it doesn't have to be a romantic partner. It can be just anybody. Anybody in your life or your childhood who broke your heart to that extent. It will never be restored the way it was. But you can still kind of work on it. You know, your heart might have holes. You have a little, little, little holes every now and then, but it's still functioning. So, let's give that some thought. And, um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Um, I hope you guys are staying safe with all this protesting and coronavirus and stuff. I've just been staying home, except for grocery shopping as usual. Um, and I'm not going out there protesting because, oh my god, I'm not trying to get killed. And, um, yeah, just stay safe. I hope you guys are having a great day, second hour, minute, and week. <laughs> Thank you for watching.